with forward pay from Appalachian Wireless, you'll avoid contracts and credit checks while taking advantage of some awesome perks, like unlimited talk, text, and three gigs of data for just $44.99, or with five gigs for a mere $59.99. Forward pay. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. According to Jenkins Police, a woman was raped at her residence on Number 4 Hill last Sunday at Knife Point. On Thursday, Jenkins police officers arrested 81-year-old Russell Belcher of Pike County for allegedly committing the crime. Belcher was taken into custody, Mirandized, and gave a statement to police. Belcher was then lodged in Letcher County Jail on the charges of sexual assault first, assault first, and carrying a concealed deadly weapon. According to a statement issued by Jenkins police, Belcher had spoken to the alleged victim prior to the incident about purchasing a vacant mobile home, but he returned again and told the alleged victim that God had directed him to speak to her. Once in a residence, the victim stated the subject and asked her for sex. When she refused, the victim stated that the subject produced a small pocket knife and again demanded sex. The victim sustained a small shallow cut to the left side of her neck. Uh, she stated that the subject then used the knife to, to cut her clothing off. Once the alleged incident was reported, an investigation was launched, which indicated Belcher had allegedly encountered other Jenkins residents and had touched them or solicited sex from them. After several days of searching, Jenkins police located Belcher, again traveling up Number 4 Hill toward the alleged victim's residence, a place they say he'd reportedly revisited several times in between the time the incident allegedly occurred and when he was finally arrested. Uh, Deputy Chief Richardson made the deliberate decision to stop him before he got up to the, to the lady's house, uh, just in case that's where he was heading again. Um, so that's, that's where we stopped him, again returning. So this makes at least three to four times that he's been to this, this, this area. Chief Stevens said his officers, as well as Neon Police Officer Alan Borms, were vigilant in their efforts to arrest Belcher. Deputy Chief Richardson and, and, and Officer Michael Garner both put a lot of time in on this, trying to find him. Uh, and uh, our reward came when we uh, advised the victim that we did have him in custody. Uh, when she told us that she felt safe, that, that she could sleep at night in her own home. Stevens said although the circumstances of the case may seem unusual, particularly the suspect's age, it is not necessarily uncommon. It's not uncommon uh, for, for an, uh, an older person. Uh, there's a variety of reasons psychologists can tell you, I'm sure. The investigation into the case is still ongoing. If convicted of the first-degree rape charge, Belcher could be sentenced up to 20 years in prison. Reporting in Jenkins for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.